Keith Thurman will return to the ring after nearly three years on the sidelines this Saturday, facing Mario Barrios in a pivotal welterweight matchup for both men. Keith one time Thurman is back. The welterweight division is back. Thurman had established himself as one of the top names in the talent loaded 147 pound division, grabbing the WBA championship before adding the WBC belt to his collection when he beat Danny Garcia in a March 2017 unification bout. Thurman faced off with the legendary Manny Pacquiao in a July 2019 showdown that saw the Filipino legend edge out the split decision victory. It was a great fight. It was a close fight. Barrios is adding depth to the division, moving up from junior welterweight. Like Thurman, Barrios is coming off the first loss of his professional career. A June 2021 war with Gervonta Davis in which Barrios was stopped late in round 11. With both men having a lot to prove if they want to get into or back into the welterweight mix, will it be former title holder and top 147 pounds standout Thurman returning triumphantly, or will the younger Barrios make his mark in a new division? Definitely a dream come true for me. Both men are coming off of losses and really don't want to make it two in a row. I'm gonna be craftier than this young man is expecting. Born in Clearwater, Florida, Keith Thurman was discovered at the age of seven by renowned trainer Ben Getty. As an amateur fighter, Thurman won six national championships and recorded more than 100 victories, setting the stage for a promising pro career. My power was uh, exceptional from an early age, so that's why my trainer had no problem throwing me in with the professionals. Thurman has earned nearly all of his victories by knockout. And tonight, that's what Lawrence gonna look like when he goes. He burst onto the national scene with a savage four-round destruction of former world champion Carlos Quintana in November 2012. Thurman seemed he had it the elite status in the sport when he won the interim WBA title in 2013 and the full championship in 2015. Yeah, He extended his perfect career record to 28-0 when he successfully defended his WBA World Welterweight Championship for a third time by taking a unanimous decision win over Sean Porter. It has been two years and six months for Keith Thurman since his last fight. On that occasion he lost by split decision against the legend Manny Pacquiao. The record of the fighter born in Clearwater, Florida is 29 fights won, 22 by KO, 1 lost and 1 no contest. Every day of Keith Thurman's life I think boxing, I breathe boxing, I meditate about boxing. Barrios turned pro in November 2013. He went 21 and 0 before he earned his first title fight, and he earned an 8 round TKO win over Jose Roman in July 2018 with the WBA Intercontinental Welterweight title on the line. He has found more success since dropping down a class to super lightweight, though. The former WBA super lightweight champion won his belt in September 2019. Barrios took on Batirak medal for the strap and he secured a unanimous decision victory to claim the title. He defended his belt against Ryan Carl on Halloween 2020 and he picked up a 6th round TKO. Texan with Mexican origins has lost his last fight by TKO on June 26, 2021 against one of the best boxers today, Gervonta Davis. Well, a right hook down, goes his professional record is 26 wins, 17 by KO and 1 loss.
Mario Barrios is a young fighter that wants to be great. Barrios is 7 years younger than Thurman and 3 inches taller, but he has a thin frame, making him less of a natural welterweight than his opponent despite the advantage in height and reach. One time is clearly serious about his comeback. At his peak around 2016, he was one of the premier boxing fighters. It will remain to be seen if Thurman will ever be able to reach those highs again. Barrios showed every bit of his heart in the fight with Davis. Davis eventually solved the puzzle and his big power turned the fight, repeatedly dropping Barrios, though Barrios never stopped getting up and fighting back until the referee called the halt to the bout. Thurman hasn't fought since July 20th, 2019, when he lost a split decision to Manny Pacquiao in a fight he could have and probably should have won. He had hand surgery after the fight, and it's always difficult to know what to expect when a fighter competes for the first time following hand surgery. I have the wisdom, the skills and the capabilities. Barrios will be highly motivated and he figures to be at his best. My speed is still there as it was, you know, at 140 or 135. Uh, movement and everything is, is on point. There are so many different angles at play in this fight that it's hard to truly zero in on a clear favorite. Were this pick Thurman of 5 years ago, it'd be easy to say he blessed out Barrios in a fun fight that doesn't reach the halfway point. He's a, he's a young man, he's a capable man, uh, I just told him he's a big little dude. Barrios is younger and with a big reach advantage but he is coming off a fight where he was repeatedly knocked down by a fighter coming up from lightweight and Thurman has significant power for a welterweight. Is it going to be a hell of a night of boxing? You know, this is definitely a fight that y'all don't want to miss out on. With both men having a lot to prove if they want to get into or back into the welterweight mix, will it be former title holder and top 147 pound standout Thurman returning triumphantly? Or will the younger Barrios make his mark in a new division? Well, the pressure is definitely 100% on Thurman. Both men are coming off of losses and really don't want to make it two in a row.